Hey everybody, welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video. Uh, so today we're going to talk about the new game mode. Now, the new game mode isn't out yet, but uh, I do want to give some thoughts on it before it comes out and maybe come back to this video afterwards and see if they've changed it all. First thing is I am glad it's in its own queue, because if it wasn't, I was going to be very, very, very upset if we were forced to play this the whole time. Not that I don't want it in the game, I'm just glad it's an option, not the guarantee. Which also leads me to the question, I wonder if they're doing this to test the waters with other game modes uh, when they add them. Now, I'm going to go through the bad stuff first that I've seen, and then we're going to go into the good. The bad thing is, one, I just want to say the marketing on this was terrible in my opinion. Uh, a game mode doesn't warrant you revealing it a week early. Uh, I don't know why they did. I don't know if there was just some agreement with the Alan Wake license or something. But yeah, th it was very strange that they revealed it a week early. Um, because now we're just waiting. And yeah, it, it's re it was really dumb, in my opinion. Uh, that's really the only bad of it. Apart from it also only being a week long. That's another bad thing. Uh, that is not much time. And a lot of people only play on the weekends, so, like, it's really not going to be that much time. I mean, I'm going to play the crap out of it, probably. Uh, but it just doesn't... Yeah, like, a month at least. I mean, I would just say make it permanent. I think League of Legends, I know I bring it up a lot, is a good place to look for this kind of stuff. And the way they do their modes where it constantly rotates... And I know we don't have that many game modes yet... But even if we get to a point of two, if it just rotated every week and it was just always there as an option, I think it would be great. Uh, but we'll see what they do with that. I mean, obviously there's going to be time before the next game mode and that's really what's going to determine this. So the good, which is honestly just the game mode idea in general, I don't think it's the most creative thing. Um, I, I have gone on record saying that because this seems like something someone could throw up in a mod one day uh, with custom rule sets and whatever. But... The general idea is kind of cool. I like that it affects both sides. There's no scratch marks. There's no terror radius. There's no red stains. So every killer is undetectable. There's no perks on either side. That's probably the most interesting thing about this. Because I think these games during this event are going to be long. And I don't mean like super long. But the fact that survivors can't just see the gens in the distance. The fact that the there's no slowdown uh, or speed up perks on either side is going to be very interesting and also the fact that the survivors don't uh, can't bring items in which means that they have to go to chests which is going to add a whole other variable to the whole thing uh it, that that alone right there i think is going to change up and i hope there's some things we learn from this game mode for example the items only being in chests, i think is, is a cool idea um i i've been always of the opinion that the base items uh are fine it's the add-ons that make them bad and i would love uh, the add-ons to spawn in chests around the map instead of you being able to just put them on. Uh, or maybe just have them guaranteed to have better add-ons. Uh, whatever. Uh, and the whole idea of making the entire game on both sides stealthy. Because I think the problem with, with stealth is usually, one, you're going in not expecting it, and two, it can be very frustrating. Which is going to be the interesting thing with this. Because if there's no scratch marks or red stain... Or terror radius. How is either side going to be able to track each other? And it's, I think it's going to be very interesting in that sense. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Like I said, it, it, I'm glad to see another game mode. I'm not going to knock that. I do think that this is the simplest one they could have done. And I'm glad to see that. And I hope they get more experimental in the future. And I hope that they extend the time limit. A week just isn't long enough. And also reveal it like a day or two before it comes out. Not a week. It's just, I don't understand why they did. I really don't. In any case, uh, tell me what you guys think about the new game mode. Once again, it's not out. This is just first impressions. I'm curious uh, if my opinions will change on things, uh, especially on the concept being, quote, interesting, in my opinion. And changing up the gameplay and the games being longer. We'll, we'll see what, what happens. Because unlike events, you can't really, like... You can't really, like like, go super hard in this, it seems. Like, you can, but there's a lot of countermeasures with how it works that i think is going to stop some of the more sweatier gameplay right you can't just know where every gen is you can't just gen rush off the bat with perks you can't just run for slowdowns you know what i mean there's nothing to like stop that side or to, to there's nothing to 
make that side of the game come out during this, unlike during events where people can still do that, you know. So we'll see. It'll be a refresher at the very least. Uh, any case, love you guys. Uh, links and stuff are below. Like and sub and all that stuff. And uh, yeah. Bye.